Good morning, guys. You want to say it? Say good morning, guys. Morning time. Morning time? Yes. Today is Noah's psychiatrist appointment. We are kind of looking forward to it because we definitely need something to change a little bit. Things have been a little bit crazy here, guys. I will talk to you guys more about that, but I've got to get all the little ones dressed. Penelope is dressed. Alex, it's time to put on your cool little dinosaur shirt. But guys, like, look at the outfit that Liam is going to be wearing today. There, he's going to be so cute. And then Penelope is already dressed because she's, like, so adorable. Yeah. You're so cute. You're so cute. Yeah, you are. No, brother's trying to do his work. Leave brother alone to do his schoolwork. Mm, you're a little ridiculous right now. <laughs> you're a little ridiculous. It's time to get dressed to go bye bye. No. Yeah, do you want to go bye-byes with mommy? No. What's hot, wrong? Hot. Oh, the cracker? Yeah, those are daddy's. They're pepper jack. Let's go find you some shorts. Oh, look, you have some shorts on right there. What did you do? You're so crazy. What is it staying here with Bobby? No, Lex is not staying here. Don't tell me Bobby and Sissy are coming too. No, Bobby and Sissy are staying home because they don't want to come to your appointment. These are just things that you have to do. You can do better. Let me show you what a good So we are on the way to the hospital to get Noah's blood done. He just has to make sure that his levels are a certain way. Uh, well, they'll do it in the part where your sunburn isn't at. Yeah, guys, we are so sunburnt. My back. But in order for us to adjust his medication, which I'm pretty sure that's what's happening today, they have to see where his levels are at. I definitely love downtown St. Pete. We actually lived closer to this area when we first moved down to the St. Pete area six years ago. It's always nice to kind of come back. Is Daddy going to be waiting in the car for us? Yeah, I think Daddy's going to wait in the car because Lex is sleeping and we don't want to wake up Lex. Oh my God. So much better. Why are you here? Why am I here? Yeah. I work here. You do? I do. Ugh. Oh my god, I can do this. Are you nervous about having your blood done? It's just normally I would go for the pain, but I have a sunburn and that makes it worse. Alright Noah, did it hurt? Um, it didn't hurt that much. You were so brave. You did such a good job. I screamed. How do you call that brave? You still did good. Let's just face it. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. You're going to give him a big hug? You're crushing my bad man. Oh my goodness, my hair looks rough. Not only does Noah have his appointment, but I have to stop into the autism center to talk to them about Noah's evaluation and Lex's. How was your doctor's appointment? Good. So I took Noah to go hang out in the van while I go talk to the autism center because Noah's done for the day and I'm done with it. <laughs> Guys, this is real life. Oh my God. I hate appointment days like this, but I need to go talk to the autism center about Lex and Noah. He's just having a really, really, really rough time. Check. Yeah, we need to go get our AC checked. Something's going on with our AC, guys. In Florida, that is not okay. So all of that is done. I got paperwork for Lex, Liam, and Noah. They all need to kind of go through the autism center process. When we saw the geneticist before we moved here, he agreed that it would be a good thing to get Liam evaluated. We are going to start like the home therapies. And I am going to sit down and talk to you guys about Noah and the medication adjustment and all of that. But today is kind of chaotic. Um, yeah, baby. It's okay, baby. I know you're just having a rough time. The doctor even said, was like, I have not seen him like this in a very long time. I've got to take care- What you say? You're going to want to listen when you're getting your train. Okay, I know that's what you heard, sweetheart, but I have to take care of other stuff when we're downtown. We don't live close to downtown St. Pete, sweetie. It's just been a long day. Oh, are we not going to Tijuana Flats? Okay. <laughs> 
I want that cookie dough flatos. I am glad Lonnie came with me though. It's just nice to like not feel so alone on these things. We are going to do some medication adjustments. Again, I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys probably near the end of the day when everything's kind of calmed down and I can kind of clear up my thoughts. Oh, we also have to go to Walmart to get diapers, don't we? Okay, all right, probably so. The organizers. Organizers, oh, for the bathroom? Yeah, probably. That's a good idea. That's why you were my wingman. Oh, I'm sorry, is your back sunburned still? Still, like, we just went to the beach yesterday, like, did a sunburn go away. I'm so sorry, honey. I'm a bad wife. Oh, hot. Mom, it's gonna be hot every day. Yes, we're in summer and we live in Florida. There's not gonna be no cold. Are we having kind of a hard day today? That's okay, we'll get better. Hi Alex, are you having fun? What are you doing buddy? You playing puzzles? You're doing good, you built it. Let's see what our other munchkins are doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna tickle those feet. I'm tickling those feet. I'm gonna tickle your feet. You got half a sock. Let's put your sock back on, so then I can tickle it. Yeah! What's that? Is that a tickle your feet? Is that a tickle your feet? Put the pacifier in. Alright guys, this is the, the hot sauce bar. That is so cool. Daddy unlocked it from the outside on his app. So basically Lonnie is gonna take care of things downstairs because he's gonna go ahead and start on dinner. I am going to unpack and clean all the bathrooms because it's been about a little over a week since we've lived here. So it's time to deep clean them, make sure they're staying nice and pretty and clean. <sighs> but if I'm being truthful, all I really wanna do is just sleep. Oh, my sunburn hurts so bad guys. But I need to get this done. We have to get this house functional. So ready, set, go. I don't know if any of you use the Dollar Shave Club, but we are in love with the Dollar Shave Club. And no, this is not sponsored. How the Dollar Shave Club works, in case you don't know, is it's just kind of like a subscription service. You have one razor and it just keeps sending you refills. It's wonderful. We love it so, so much. The problem is, is if you forget to put the subscription on standby, you end up with too many refills. This is too many refills. I think I might even have some more somewhere. I really hope Lonnie's put a stop on our subscription. However, we are kind of making some progress here. I mean, it doesn't look like progress, but we're making progress, okay? All right, landing crew, I did it. I cleaned all of the bathrooms. And oh my goodness, the ceiling fan is obnoxious. It needs some WD-40. I don't even know if that's a thing for fans, but it needs it. So this is our clean bathroom. It kind of looks like the same from the empty house tour. Our list of things we need is, it's kind of becoming a little bit endless, but we're doing priorities. So we need shower curtains. Those can wait uh, for right now. I unpacked everything too. So this bathroom was horrendous because it had a huge box in the middle everything was strung everywhere so i organized everything and then look a little nice basket and then look at that bathroom felt like the downstairs bathroom was the worst like it's the one that everyone uses because who really wants to walk upstairs like this just to go potty oh my goodness today has been exhausting I've been really downplaying the issues we've been having with Noah. I don't know, I don't wanna seem like I'm complaining about having a special needs kid. Like that's not what, 
<laughs> that's not what our channel is about and that's not who we are. So I've just been kind of like downplaying it. These last few weeks, last month has been just so, so hard. So hard on us, so hard on him. And when I talk about this, I don't want it to come across like we're playing the woe is us card because I realized that the reason Noah's having issues is because he's struggling so much himself and this is so hard on him. Before a couple months ago, he would have a meltdown like maybe once a month, maybe once every three weeks. All the first few vlogs you guys saw of us moving and the excitement of the new house and everything. What it didn't show was the constant meltdowns, the constant issues, the constant like in the midst of moving and packing and getting situated in our house with six kids. We would have to take like two hours out. Like it's hard anyway. When you add that in, it's really difficult. He's really irritable. When he's not irritable, he's very, very high strung and just very, he's just very intense. That doesn't mean we don't realize that he's struggling. Knowing that it's not his fault and it's beyond his control does not make it any easier for us. So we definitely knew that he needed to have a medication adjustment. He's been on the same medication for like eight, nine months, like the same dosage. Like we haven't had to change it. He's been doing so, so good. And that's why his psychiatrist was like, I have not seen him like this in a very, very long time. He's right. He hasn't. Noah has been doing really well. We've been so proud of him and we still are so proud of Noah, even though there's been so much thrown at him, guys. I mean, if you think about it, I had issues near the end of my pregnancy. I had Penelope. I had issues right after I had Penelope and that was scary for him. I can't even imagine how scary that was for him, not fully understanding everything. And then we're moving to Boston and we're not moving to Boston and now we're moving to Clearwater. Lonnie took three months off and then Lonnie's back at work. Oh wait, Lonnie's home now. Oh wait, we are moving. It was just a lot. It's a lot. So I'm very proud on how he's accomplished things, but that doesn't mean that there aren't issues that need to be addressed. So that's kind of what we did. We had to do his lithium levels. He takes lithium for pretty much his like irritability, his impulsiveness, um, aggression, all of those things. That's kind of what the lithium does for him. They have to see where his levels are at because if his levels are too high, that means they can't increase it. They can't do anything. But if it's low or just kind of like, okay, then we can look at increasing it. So that's kind of what they looked at. The only reason I'm going to detail on like his medications and things because we get a lot of questions about them. It's just kind of good to know what other kids are on, what works for them at certain ages and things like that. He's on 10X. He's on 10X during the day to just kind of help his hyperactivity. It's mainly just for symptoms of ADHD because once he gets going on that hyperactivity will, it's a lot. He literally spends most of the day either melting down or screaming from excitement. I'm not it's just like being overwhelmed, I guess. I don't know. We definitely wanted to address that. He also takes clonidine at night. Pretty much they've increased his 10X, which is the guanifacine, and then they are keeping the clonidine as is because the clonidine helps him sleep. He's not really having sleeping issues. Thank goodness. They are going to look into possibly increasing the lithium. So that's basically what we did. I don't know what else we can do other than just let this medication adjustment hopefully help him through the next couple of months. I am going to go edit now because I am so behind on videos. It is insane. I need to get all these videos up, but it's just like I can't find the time. So I have to find the time today and tomorrow. But I love you guys and I hope you guys subscribe if you like this video and if you don't like this video if you hated this video i'm so so sorry and dislike but, it yeah That's dislike that. it hit the dislike button because so many of you guys love doing that <laughs> but i love you guys and we will see you tomorrow where you move make me blind you will always be there there's no doubt in my mind you will always be there heading out to